What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. You might be wondering, why the hell am I in my garage and why are you guys here with me? Well, today something pretty special has happened. Uh, it's been a year in the making. If you remember about a year ago, back in March, I did an A250 video for the announcement and the launch of that platform. Well, it wasn't really the video I wanted to make, but today I'm very excited to make that video. First and foremost, this is one of the first big unboxings I've done here on the channel. Let's get it open. It was a lot of fun when this got delivered. Uh, I'm very excited. I haven't even opened this thing up yet. I don't even know. What, I have an idea of what's in here, but we'll see. All right. Probably cables. Yep, yeah, we'll get to that later. Oh my goodness. Come in close here. Let's see what we can see. That, my friends, is an A250 full of 15.3 terabyte drives. Come on, let's get it upstairs. Oh my God, it's heavy. <laughs> okay, guys. There we go, we got it up to the studio. Hope you enjoyed the jaunt through my through my house, up three flights of stairs, but welcome to the studio. You guys have been here before. Uh, this is, as I said before, the A250, the All Flash Fast AFF A250. It's the third, third generation in the A200 lineup. Uh, we had about five years ago, we had the uh, A200, which I have one here in the rack. Uh, we're going to be doing some stuff with that one as well, maybe a cluster, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but I've been waiting to get my hands on one of these since they came out a little over a year ago. So the A250 has two controllers in it, and I've popped one of them out here so that we can take a look at the guts on the inside. We have the Skylake D Xeon 12 core processors. We've got uh, up to 128 gigs, that's 64 gigabytes per controller. So. When you're talking about a system like this, you have to think in two node high availability pairs. So total, you have 24 cores of CPU, 128 gigabytes of RAM. Each of these controllers also has uh, four gigabytes of non-volatile memory, meaning anything that uh, if there's, if somebody yanks the power cables out of the back of it and you need to, you have important data, it'll work on flushing that down uh, to disks. So you also have the ability to connect multiple mezzanine cards here. Each controller of the two in this system has two mezzanine slots. And you can put any combination of cards in here. You can put four port 32 gigabit fiber channel cards. You can put four port 25 gigabit ethernet cards. You can put in um, 12 gigabit SAS cards to import any data from previous shelves and things of that nature. Uh, in addition, the other big part of this is that you can expand it. So what good would a system be if you couldn't add additional storage? Now, as you saw, we have 15 terabyte drives into this one. Uh, they come in the, the caddies. They're great. Uh, they are NVMe connected. And one of the biggest things about this system is we now have an end-to-end NVMe system in the 2U embedded space. So embedded drives, no additional shelves. You're talking hundreds of terabytes here in a 2U footprint with the larger drives. So having everything in VME gives you the ability to do tons, thousands of parallel processes, data writes, all kinds of stuff. The ability to have all of the I.O. you need in multiple controllers right here in the box. And I'm going to throw this guy back in real quick. Show you how easy it is. Just snap and click. Snap. Done and done. So the last thing I want to talk about this is the expansion of it. So let's say you load it up with 15 terabyte drives and you need more storage. You can use 100 gigabit ethernet cards in one of your mezzanines and connect an additional NS224 shelf for another 24 NVMe connected flash drives. This platform right here is probably one of my all time favorite that we've come up with. You talk about bang for your buck all kinds of stuff that you can do with this system that you don't need to buy some big million dollar system to do you can absolutely do with this one 
Uh, the last thing I want to show you here is around on the back. And you can see our two mezzanine cards right here up top. But on board, you've got on board 10 gig Ethernet ports and on board uh, 25 gig Ethernet ports that go right here to attach additional uh, cluster components. But your native 10 gig on board and native 25 gig on board is absolutely massive for all of your connectivity. So I hope you like this new style of video, guys, because this is kind of a new direction that I'm taking for the channel. We're going to get this guy in the rack. We're going to install ONTAP on it. We're going to fresh wipe it, fresh install everything. We're going to put some licenses on it, and we're going to hook it up, and we're going to test the hell out of it. So make sure you subscribe to the channel here so you don't miss out on those, and hey, make sure you got your notifications turned on too. But until next time, take care.